Scorpions and dragons and topaz. Oh my. This morning we are leaving Delta, Utah and driving to Topaz Mountain to get topaz crystals. The smokestack is a great landmark. Later today, this 50 mile long straight flat road with no traffic would save our lives. This antelope was fun to watch, but we were more excited going in search of semi-precious topaz crystals. The White Mountain itself is the signpost for turning off the highway. Then there are dirt roads marked well with the signs for a pay site, which we aren't going to. You may have seen the crystal collector headed up the left side of the mountain. That looked way too strenuous for us, so we followed in the footsteps of the rugged rock hound and went up a valley to the right. We're up here on Topaz Mountain. There's a reason they call it Topaz Mountain is because you see all the little shiny things? Those are not glass, those are Topaz crystals. But unfortunately they bleach out in the sun so they're not yellow. We're off in search of white rock. You can see it's all white up there and uh, that's where we're headed to the very tippy top. A little bit of a hike going in. Make sure where the trail is. Maybe it's over here. Yeah, there, there's the trail. And here's the white rock, tiny little vags is where you find the topaz crystals. And there's Elizabeth with her bright orange so I can find her. But I'll find her. We both have radios. This horned lizard goes by many names, including horny toad. It is poisonous to your dog, and with all those spikes, we treat it that way for us. There's the Horned Lizard Conservation Society if you're interested. See the truck way down there? And that's the trees. Hiking up a trail straight out 5,800 feet, winding ourselves a bit. This is kind of what you're looking for. Something where nobody's been there. And then just look underneath it and see if there's holes back into it or what. So you can see the holes in this. There could be crystals in there. Found my first piece of topaz. It's right here in this rock. And if you look carefully, you can see it right there. Sometimes they fall out of the matrix and sometimes they stay in. So you never know. But it's number one. Okay, I just broke this rock free and you can see one pretty much right in the middle of the screen. And now there's another one right in the middle of the screen. The sun's not out, so they're not glinting like they should. And there's the third one in the middle of the screen. They're hiding in this little bag right here. There's at least two in there I can see. There might be three when I get it cleaned out. I'm gonna leave them in matrix. I think it looks really cool. This is not crappy weather. This is ideal weather because it's not too hot and and not, and not too cold. We're rehydrating. Tonight it's supposed to be 29 degrees and it's already getting cold and it's four o'clock and it doesn't even get dark till 8.30 but it's already it feels like it's getting dark. If this rain drops on us and it's 29 degrees that's seriously bad. Kind of disappointed but and we never found X marks the spot but we found a few. We found a souvenir. We're doing our part. Somebody <laughs> dropped a beer can and we're picking it up for Tread Lightly. It's a beautiful place with no garbage. Leave it better than you found it. Pack it in, pack it out. And we didn't want to freeze in our tent tonight, so we're headed back to town. What is that up ahead? Utah has some wild weather. Now we're in a dust storm. Blowing about 40 miles an hour out there. Where did the road go? We don't want to slow down too much. Somebody will rear end you. But you have to be able to see the lines on each side of the road. You can't see squat. It's scary. This is going on for a long time. At least we can see the lines on the road now. 
it was a cold night last night. Uh, very strange weather with dust storms and rain. And as you can see behind us, we even had snow. And it's only 39 degrees. We're going to be putting on some puffy coats before we go. It sure is cold. It is cold out here this morning. Hiking through the snow. Not much. It's just dusty. Doesn't rain much in the desert. I'm up even higher, and you can really see the track for now. This is pretty close to where we dug yesterday. We're continuing up, a up higher. Pretty steep trail here. I see a 6,000 foot elevation. The metamorphosis is occurring. You can see the butterfly wings have started to come out of the shell. So, any minute she'll probably take off. Take off her hat. Uh -huh. You can see the orange square down there, which is Liz. Now she's moving. Okay, up here in the middle of the Topaz Mountains, and we are up here. Some kind of a crystal. It's a big piece of crystal, for sure. Here's a little tip for you: use a pill bottle. And then just stuff, um, in my case, it's a little sack in, inside of it. And it holds your crystals at the bottom. She's over there, somewhere. Oh, I guess I can't see her. No, I'm just walking along and found a big hunk just in front of me. It's got inclusions, but it's clear. Just to be sure. I'm gonna do some blasting by hand. Well, there was nothing in that side, but there's two in this. I think this is one right here. I'm way up here. I'm looking for X marks the spot. Let me show you one right there. I got a flashlight to see it. It's just a baby. I don't know if you can see that sparkle. You can see the edge of it right now. And there's John. I'm not finding much here, and Elizabeth says they're all over the place where she is, so I'm headed over to her find. I'm waving my hand. I think there's a ridge between us. I think that's you. There you are. Look up. Yeah, I see you. This piece right here was up there. And I, there was a seam right there. And I took my hammer and I popped it open and rolled it forward. And there's uh, amber colored points right here. They're hard to see. There's one right there. And then there's a couple more down in here. Good job. You see that? Oh, wow. You got a bunch of points. Yeah. They are deep colored, too. Yep. Nice. Whoopsie. Some might just fall out. I'm going to bust open some of this here and see what I get. Maybe nothing, but then I can work my way up this little face of rock. There you go down there. We're finding topaz. All right. Yay. It's this big. <laughs> well, it didn't take me long. I uh, pulled off this rock that you can see all the different color stripes in it, and all the cavities are in those stripes, and pulled out this. One. So I found another little tiny one. Sometimes they're pretty easy to see, like that one. My dad has an expression. If it was a snake, it would have bit you. And I was digging right here, and there's a topaz coming out of the rock right here. I've taken my hat off so you could see me. Unlike Liz, who has two hats on because it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> and we think we finally found X marks the spot. We, we found the spot. We found uh, 
about uh, six topaz, real nice, uh, small, but nice topaz crystals with the yellow or amber color, whatever you call it. They're uh, amber. They look wonderful. We're gonna keep uh, breaking off some rock and digging around and seeing what we find. We're, we're really excited that we didn't get rained on. And even though there's still clouds in the sky, here I'll show you. But mostly, it's a sunny day. That's how far up we've come. And you can see the other tops of mountains from up here. And we are really up here. This is how far from the top we are. Wow, you can see it right there. It's just almost, we're almost to the top. But it's great, we found the X marks the spot. Yep. This is my secret weapon tool. Hand forged, sort of. From a long screwdriver, I hit it with the propane and then bend it on the anvil. It's handy if you get back in the cracks like this. Well, Elizabeth just pulled out the biggest one yet. Unfortunately, it was broke. The tip was broken off of it, but you can see that that's uh, about twice as big around as any other that we found. Look at all the sparkle. Yeah, you didn't know I was so strong. I could break rock with my bare hands, did you? What do we have here? Look at that. I found one. Yeah. Right there. Okay, check that out. Okay, we got us a scorpion. Right here where I was sitting. I was sitting just inches away from it. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, it's the little ones that get you. See how little that is? That's maybe an inch and a half long. He's not afraid of you. And it was right there. Right there by us. Oops. We had a great time. We're going off road again. We're going over Dugway Pass. And we don't know where that is. Well, yes, we do. It's way around this way somewhere, <laughs> like 15 miles or something. So to get there, we have to drive like 40. We're going to take off now. And we found the spot. Yay. We found the spot. 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 We haven't had much to eat, but we found the spot. Working our way down is as hard as working our way up. Kind of rugged, that's for sure. There we go. We were over here. Wow, those are big boulders that come down the hill. You don't want to be around when that happens. Elizabeth goes down the trail. We can see it, it's in sight. Now, if only it was closer. Still windy down here. We are way up there. Somebody munching over here? Not yet, almost. I got P3 packs out though. We'll be having those for lunch today. Hey, you're not staying on Topaz Mountain. You're coming with me. When we first saw these, we were so excited because they look like clusters of topaz crystals. But in reality, the matrix is all mixed in with the crystal, and there's no way to clean these up like there is with quartz. If you go to Topaz Mountain, you'll find many of these singles, but they have the same problem. If you try to clean them up, what happens is the matrix is so soft that the topaz just falls apart. Up on the hill, I mentioned I was going to leave these topaz crystals in matrix, and I mostly did, except that I scraped back a little of the matrix so that it would show the topaz better. 
While doing so, I found out that there's a third one in there, to my surprise. On the back side, there's a little bonus. Uh, there was yet another one. The topaz found at Topaz Mountain is brown in color. If it's exposed to sunlight though, it becomes clear. So what you need to do is not just pick things up and find, find topaz hanging out of rocks. You'll actually have to break the rocks open to find the brown ones. Now it's a little bit of work. The good news is the rock isn't particularly hard as rocks go, much softer than something like basalt. Clear topaz can be turned brown again by irradiating it with x-rays or gamma rays. And that's done commercially because after you do that, the topaz is no longer subject to bleaching in the sun. Now if you heat treat it a little bit, you can eliminate the brown and it leaves behind a gorgeous steely blue color. Virtually any blue topaz you find on the market has been treated this way. In this otherwise nice piece of amber topaz, you can see the inclusions clearly by looking through to the bottom. Before we get to the best of the best, please take a moment to subscribe.